Coming up on Serial at Midnight, we talk about three must-see documentaries from director Mark Hartley that are virtually exploitation educations in a box. We break it all down right after this. Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and in this video, we're going to talk about these three documentaries from Mark Hartley. He basically has written the book on these genres, on the Australian, the Ozploitation genre, the Machete Maidens, the Filipino exploitation genre, and then of course, Electric Boogaloo, a doc that I know so many of you guys are familiar with. Uh, but the thing that I want to talk about specifically is these Blu-rays. These are uh, region-free Blu-rays from Umbrella Entertainment, and they are really uh, fantastic. So we're going to dig into these. These three documentaries are of a piece. They kind of tell all this, basically from the late 60s all the way through the 90s, the story of genre film. I want to kick things off with a look at Not Quite Hollywood, the wild untold story of Ozploitation. Uh... <laughs> This is crazy. This this documentary is it's really crazy. It's like it's so okay. So it starts with a look at basically the history of Australian film, and it it picks up really the late '60s during that hippie movement. And it's interesting to note that at that time Australia did not really have a a native film industry. They had had one at one point, but things had gotten muddied, outsourced. Companies had come in and brought outside distribution and so they really did not have a, a current uh, film industry at that time so these a few people decided they really wanted to focus on Australian films late 60s and the movies that birthed this rejuvenation of the Australian film industry were not like award-winning pictures they were drive-in exploitation movies with <laughs> full of Hardcore violence, naked people, whatever you can imagine. And these are the movies that like, they were super successful. They were so successful that they birthed a new generation of Australian film. And so that's really where this documentary starts. That's where it starts. And over the next roughly hour, 45 minutes, we go way deep into the, the crazy the wild untold story of Ozploitation and it is wild and I want to say I think every, if you haven't seen these documentaries first of all I think you should because the history of film is important the history of these movies is important and we can't just turn our nose up a little bit I only watch film it's it's all in the mix things everything plays off of everything else but I do want to say that this is not for the faint of heart this is not for the easily offended some of you guys are like, yes, that's that's reason to watch it. But it is the history of an entire genre in an entire nation. And wow, is it interesting. It's crazy. It's interesting. The stunts. So one of the things that becomes apparent is like in the in the Australian film industry, they did not have the regulations that like Hollywood had learned that they needed over the years. And so the stunt work was insane. They're setting people on fire. There's there's tales from the set of Mad Dog Morgan with Dennis Hopper after uh, Easy Rider. He'd become so drunk and belligerent that he was unemployable in America. So he goes to Australia and he makes this movie about Mad Dog Morgan. And there, you, there's footage of someone being set on fire next to Dennis Hopper and almost setting Dennis Hopper on fire. And people just jumping off cliffs. So, uh, there's a motorcycle stunt. I, I don't. I'm not going to give you know everything away. But there's a motorcycle stunt in this documentary where a guy goes over the cliff. He goes over a cliff on a motorcycle. It's incredible. It's such a huge high impact. He gets knocked out when he hits the water. He breaks. I think he breaks a bunch of stuff. It, it, he's bruised. He's. <laughs> it's insane. The car crashes. So anyway, this documentary really picks up. You know, that late '60s sexy sexploitation kind of a thing with the hip, the 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 fringe hippie cinema goes through um, the uh, the 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 comedies of the '70s, the raunchy comedies into some of the. Um, very distinctly Australian films, all the way up to like Mad Max and things like that. Uh, we really focus for a long time on the films of Brian Trenchard Smith, who is a director that I love. Uh, we're going to do a Brian Trenchard Smith spotlight in the coming 
coming up. I can't put a date on it, but we are going to do a Brian Trenchard Smith spotlight. He's, of course, the director. Um, well, first of all, this is this is something that I highly recommend. These are two of his earlier Australian movies. This is Day of the Panther and Strike of the Panther. Very low budget, very, very low budget uh, action movies. The like martial arts, late 80s, neon. It's amazing. We're going to talk about these. Um, Dead End Drive-In. If, if you haven't seen Dead End Drive-In, that's one of Brian Trenchard Smith's... Um, it was one of my favorite movies by him. And then he, right after that Australian period where he was working on these very low-budget movies, Stunt Rock, uh, these, these crazy, fun movies, he kind of goes legitimate uh, with uh, The Siege of Firebase Gloria for Hollywood. He comes to America, he starts making these bigger pictures. Then, of course, he goes on to do like leprechaun movies and stuff like that. But so much of this documentary focuses on Brian Trenchard Smith. Um, so I'm not going to get super deep beyond this that hopefully that's enough to wet whet your appetite and get you to check this out but i want to sell you on the blu-ray because th this is region free from umbrella entertainment it has nine i'm sorry over nine hours of special features uh bmx bandits that's one i forgot to talk about with brian trenchard smith uh, but it has, so it's got tons of behind the scenes footage, like a commentary with the director, a, a trailer, the, the trailer gallery alone. It's got three hours of Australian uh, exploitation movie trailers. Basically, every movie that's featured in the documentary, the trailer is part of the trailer compilation. It's like three hours long, all Australian film. The craziest stuff, you guys. I mean, people fighting kangaroos, uh, cars blowing up with people standing next to them, people barely missing getting hit by cars. These trailers are insane. They really showcase the craziest stuff from these movies. Um, but it has taken me, it, like I, I was revisiting this and just going through all the material. This is like days to go through all this stuff. And by the end of it, you just want to go watch Australian exploitation movies. So this is where our story starts. Then Machete Maidens is the follow-up to that. And it's, here, I'll show you the back of this. One of the things that I like about this Umbrella Blu-ray packaging is that, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and flip this. It has a reversible sleeve. And on one side is like a cover for Machete Maidens. And the other side is Electric Boogaloo. So let's go ahead and flip it so that we can have a visual aid for our, our conversation. So this is basically uh, a spotlight on all those directors so many of them from italy you know like fulci uh, bruno mattei so all these guys would go to the philippines because it was cheaper to film these uh ultra low budget movies horror often um in the philippines and so they would go there and they would like crazy things would happen because again we're talking about no particular quality control not quality control but like safety standards that's what we're talking about shooting in buildings that have weak floors uh you know there's stories from people on the set of the zombie movies they'd go into these buildings and the floors would just collapse under them because there's no regulations uh and it's it's crazy so i probably have the least amount to say about this documentary not because it's not interesting it's a fantastic documentary definitely check it out it chronicles the filipino exploitation movement from the 60s the 70s into the 80s uh action movies horror movies all these things but i've seen the least of these filipino exploitation movies i have the least personal experience with these movies so it's an education for sure this also has tons of special features it has over an hour of uh, Filipino exploitation movie trailers. There's actually an introduction, like a text introduction to the trailer compilation, and it talks about how these trailers were so crazy and they would do anything they could to market these movies. They would they would lie, they would cheat. It, does, it doesn't say this, I'm editing this. This is my editorial. They would lie, cheat. Uh, they would mislead you to get your butt in that seat so you'd watch these movies. Uh, and so it's it's really fantastic. It shares a disc with Electric Boogaloo. So you're getting two for one here. You're getting a two for one package. Now let's talk about Electric Boogaloo. This is the wild untold story of Canon Films. And I love Canon. Uh, again, we've, we've talked about this on the channel before because I love Canon movies. I love Chuck Norris. I love uh, so many of the, so much of the stuff that these guys did. It was Golem and Globus, uh, these, these uh, filmmakers who'd come to America with 
their their model was basically it was kind of like a model on the the Roger Corman uh, way of doing things, where you'd come up with a really good poster first. And then you would sell a movie based on how good that poster was. So you say, like, look at this poster. It looks really good, right? Make me this movie. And so many times, it doesn't seem like that would work, but so many times it did. Uh, and so, I, you know, let's talk about, I, I pulled this DVD. So when, in, in America, this is how we got this um, for, uh, for a long time. Even now... Uh, I'm seeing this pop up in a lot of your guys' Instagram feeds and on Twitter because I think that uh, this is showing up during the most recent Dollar Tree sale. Here in America, there's a store called Dollar Tree, $1, uh, and movies are showing up because, um, of course they are. So uh, this is showing, a lot of you guys are picking this up, I think some of you for the first time. But I do want to say, first of all, it's great. This is a wonderful documentary, but this has very little special features on it. It has over 25 minutes of deleted scenes and over 30 minutes of trailers. Well, the Blu-ray version has hours and hours of special features, including almost two hours, not 30 minutes, almost two hours of canon movie trailers. And uh, it also has like behind the scenes stuff, red carpet footage, extended interviews with the people that they talked to during the, the making of this documentary. The Canon story is one of the craziest stories that I can think of for modern movie making. The way that they did this thing, it's like I said, it's amazing that it lasted as long as it did because it doesn't seem like a sustainable model, yet it did sustain them for like a good... 10 to 15 years. Now, Canon existed before Golem and Globus took over. Golem and Glo <laughs> Golem and Globus. Uh, it existed before they took over. But it's they're the guys that rejuvenated that that model that that when we think of Canon, we're thinking of the work that those two men did. Uh, and so, you know, all the, the exploitation movies of the 80s, Break In, Break In 2, Electric Boogaloo, whatever trend was popular, these two men would say, make me a movie like that. And then they would try to get it in theaters as fast as possible while the trend was still uh, relevant, while it was still active. So this, these two documentaries, you guys, uh, are, like I said, they're, they're both on one disc. And uh, let's see, special features, Michael Dudikoff extended interview, a word with Frank Yablans, deleted and extended scenes, expanded canner, canon trailer compile, interviews and red carpets, still galleries, uh, and more. The, I'll say the special features on Machete Maidens, Unleashed is uh, audio commentary, more wild and untold stories, Filipino trailers, interviews and red carpet report, The Oath of Green Blood, monster test footage, still galleries, trailers, and more. I highly recommend you guys uh, pick these up. These are fantastic documentaries. I'm telling you, between the two of these, I don't even want to know, I don't want to say how many hours it is. It's probably like 20 hours of behind the scenes footage, information, the exploitation education. With the start of the video, I said that these are a virtual exploitation education in a box. Hopefully, I've conveyed that case to you why this is true. You're talking about hours and hours of the people that made these movies. Quentin Tarantino is a huge uh, talking head in, uh, in, in this one. And so many people that we respect that are making these movies now were influenced by the movies covered in these, uh, in these documentaries. So I think they're fantastic. If you're in the U.S., I, th I think if you're outside the U.S., these are probably uh, covered. Uh, they're probably available from a variety of sources. In the U.S., I can speak to um, Diabolik, Diabolik? <laughs> Diabolic DVD. Uh, is probably your best bet to score these. I did check before I made this video, and I believe they are both readily available. Um, but they're around, and even if you have to import them, it's well worth it. They are so loving. It's so interesting that some of these movies are still not represented on DVD or Blu-ray. Not all of them, but some of them are still missing in action. And I'm telling you guys, when you watch these documentaries, you just want to go watch these movies. So... I watch Not Quite Hollywood. I just start making a list of Australian movies that I want to see. Some of them are available here. Some of them are not. Some of them look to be either out of print or like they never, uh, they, they never had discs at all. So the work begins. But that's the, the love, that's the joy of a film fan is just following these rabbit holes, going all in on these, 
these tangents that are so wonderful. That's, that's what it's about. It really is what I think it's, that's what it's about. I highly recommend them. Guys, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Take care. And until next time, I will catch you later.